Dr. Peter Chin Hong is an infectious disease specialist based in San Francisco. Peter, thanks so much for joining us. This is AstraZeneca's second pause, I believe. How concerned should the public be about an adverse reaction to a vaccine? Uh, well, thanks for having me on. There's no concern at this moment for the pause. As people have said, it's actually a good sign that they are pausing in the face of a serious adverse event. This is a standard uh, practice for all trials, not just randomized trials, but for cl any clinical trial uh, where you give an experimental agent, and if there's a cause for hospitalization or death, it's paused. This could happen independent of the intervention, so I think that association or that linkage has to be made first. There are tens of thousands of people participating in AstraZeneca's trials. What sort of setback is this in terms of a timeline for them? Well, it depends on whether or not there is a linkage between uh, the event, which is called transverse myelitis, and the vaccine. There have been previous association of vaccines with transverse myelitis, with measles, with uh, uh, diphtheria and tetanus. So I think the Data Safety and Monitoring Board, which is thought to be independent, has to make that association. If that association is made, I think they'll have to decide whether or not they would go on with this trial or not, because it is pretty rare, even in established vaccines. President Trump is hoping a vaccine would be ready by the start of November, health experts say. That's highly unlikely. Your thoughts? I think it's very, very improbable that there will be results by November 1st, which is what uh, some dates that uh, the CDC had uh, instructed healthcare professionals and public health leaders to prepare for. Um, I think early spring is really optimistic um, at, the, at the earliest. Other countries are also working in a vaccine, many working with China. How are those different than the ones that Americans are working on, if at all? And how likely is it that Americans might first get a made in China vaccine? I think uh, what you're broaching on it, it is really the politics of vaccines. And I think it's interesting that Operation Warp Speed, which is funded by US, doesn't include any Chinese vaccines. So if a Chinese vaccine would be proven to be efficacious, and without serious adverse events, it would be interesting to see how that would be embraced by the U.S. Uh, because vaccines isn't only about science, after all. If they're two equivalent vaccines, then politics is probably going to play a role. Do you think there was a, a, a not enough attention, effort, or funding put into rapid testing as it was put into a vaccine and indeed to the therapeutic treatments? Yes, I think there's a dissonance between uh, some of the funding that's put into diagnostics and just rule out of testing, which is really a basic tenant of disease control versus the billions of dollars that have been funneled into vaccines. At the end of the day, a vaccine is uh, sexier than putting a lot of money into testing. All right, Dr. Peter Chen Hong uh, joining us from San Francisco. Thank you for your insight.